Star City Gaming here, back with another video. And today I'll be showing you guys how to build Pikachu wearing Ash Ketchum's hat. So for this build, what you're gonna need is some black concrete, yellow concrete, red concrete, white concrete, and lime concrete. So once you figure out where you want to make it, I'll be making it right about here. I think that's where I'll start it because the tail is kind of long, so I should maybe like right here. Give myself enough space. So that's where I'm gonna go ahead and start it. So what you want to do is take out your black concrete and start with the row of three black concrete on the ground. So that's one, two, and three. Then from there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do an up left diagonal and go up by two. So that's one and two. From that second block, you're gonna go right by two. So one and two. Coming back on that, like on the left side of that row of three that we just made, you're gonna do four up left diagonals. So that's one, two, three and four like that what you're gonna want to do is just come to the very bottom of like that first row of three that we had made and you're gonna do an up right diagonal then you're gonna go up by one then you're gonna do another up right diagonal and another up right diagonal alright after that up right diagonal what you're gonna want to do is come back to where we made those four up left diagonals and on that fourth one what you're gonna do is go up by six with your black concrete so one two three four five and six like so then do an up right diagonal and go up by one then go left by three so that's one two three and then do an up left diagonal and go left by two so one and two then do an up left diagonal go up by one and do two up right diagonals so that's one and two on the second up right diagonal you're gonna go up by one then do another two up right diagonals so that's one and two on that second up right diagonal go up by one then do another upright diagonal, go up by one again, and then do another upright diagonal to give you a shape that looks like this. So far, our Pikachu looks like this. After you've done that, what you can go ahead and do is come to the very bottom where we did that first row of three, and coming to where we started like going to the right up diagonal, you can go right by that block where we did the two upright diagonals by ten. So that's one, two, three, four five six seven eight nine ten to make a row of total of eleven because that's counting that first block then do two actually do three bottom right diagonals so that's one two and three on that third one go right by one then do a bottom right diagonal and go right by three so that's one two three then do an up right diagonal then do a up left diagonal and do another up left diagonal and go left by one to give you something like that then from that row of two that we just made do four up right diagonals so that's one two three and four to give you something that should look like this and that's like the Pikachu's two legs Next, you can go ahead and go to the right side where we did those uh, four upright diagonals. And on that fourth one, just go up by seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then do an up left diagonal and go up by one. Then do another up left diagonal and go up by one again. From that block, go left by one. Then do a bottom left diagonal. Then go down by one. Then what you can go ahead and do is go um, do four bottom left diagonals. So that's one, two, three, and four. On that fourth one, go left by one. Then do two up left diagonals. So that's one and two. On the second one, you can go up by one. Then do another up left diagonal and go up by one once again. Then do an up right diagonal. From the up right diagonal, what you can go ahead and do is go up by three. So that's one, two, three to create a row of four. 
then do an upright diagonal, go up by one, then do another upright diagonal, and go up by one again. Then do two upright diagonals, so that's one and two. Two give you something that look should look like this. Okay. From there, what you can go ahead and do is come to the very left side where we are, like right about here, and you're just gonna raise this like this part right here that I'm pointing to. You see if you guys I don't know if you guys can see it. I hope you guys can see it pretty well. Like right that one. You're gonna go ahead and go raise it up by one, two, three, four, and five. So that it should be even with this block right here. They should be even. Then you can do an up right diagonal. And then you can go up into where so one, two, three, just by three, that's it. So that they can be even right there. Then you're gonna do another up right diagonal. And we'll just leave that for now and we'll worry about that block a little bit later. Actually, forget that. Let's just raise this up. You don't need to count it right now, but just raise it up a few blocks. Like you don't need to count it out. We'll count it out a little bit later, but don't raise it too much, but like, just raise it a decent amount, because it's going to go pretty high. But we, we don't have to worry about that at this moment. Come to where we made this little, like, arrowhead right here. On this row of two that we have going up, what you can do is just keep raising it. It's easier that instead of counting it, well, to raise it up until where you get even with this block right here. Sorry if that's confusing, but like this block right here, like the second to last one, just until it's even right there. Then do an up left diagonal to where those two are even. And you go ahead and raise that up by three. So that's one, two, and three. Then do an up right diagonal. And take out your red concrete and go up by three. So that's one, two, and three. To the right of those three red concrete, go ahead and take out your black concrete and just place black to the right of them on all of them. Then do a bottom right diagonal and go down by one. Then do another bottom right diagonal and go right by one. Then what you can go ahead and do is raise it up by one, two, three, four, and five. And then do an up left diagonal, go left by one. You can go ahead and fill that all in with black concrete. That's going to be like the tip of Pikachu's ear. What you can also do with the red concrete is since we have it right here, you can just go ahead and like next to this red concrete pillar that we made, just do this. It's hard to kind of explain it, so just kind of do what I did right here. It should kind of look like that. There should just be two on the top and then one extra on the bottom. But like, it's hard to explain it, but just do it like that. Okay, now with your black concrete, just go to the right of this little, like, um, two, like, red concrete. Just, like, place two black concretes like that. Then you can raise these two black concrete up by six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And on that six block, just go left by one and go right by one. Then on that right by one, do a bottom right diagonal and go right by one. Then just connect this all the way down. And it should connect right there, like so. Coming back to this little like T that we made, what you can go ahead and do is do two up left diagonals, so that's one and two. On that second one, go left by two, so that's one and two. Then do another up left diagonal. And go left by two, so that's one and two. Then do another up left diagonal and go left by three, so that's one, two, and three. Then do another up left diagonal and go left by four. So that's one, two, three, and four. And then do another up left diagonal and go left by three. So that's one, two, and three. And for now, we'll just leave that like that. Okay, next, what we can go ahead and do is coming to this little, like, part that we made right here, it's like the tail, come into this row right here, if you come to the top of that row, what you can go ahead and do is take out your yellow concrete and go one, two, three, 
to the right so there's one more than that and then place a black concrete so like three yellows and then black concrete from that black concrete do a bottom right diagonal go down by one then what you can go ahead and do is do six bottom right diagonals so that's one two three four five and six then go right by one then do three upright diagonals so that's one two and three then from there what you can go ahead and do is go up by three so that's one two and three then do an up left diagonal and go up by two so that's one and two then do another up left diagonal go up by one do two up left diagonals so that's one and two and on that second up left diagonal go up by one and then do another up left diagonal go left by one and then do a final up left diagonal and go left by one to give you something like that and that should be one higher than that one so those are his two arms and one of them should it should be higher like that little top row should be higher than the other one okay then what you can go ahead and do is on top of this arm that we have right here just place two yellow concretes like that and then place a red concrete then go left by two with that red concrete then do an uh, up left diagonal and do another up left diagonal and then go left go up by two so that's one and two then do two up right diagonals so that's one and two then go right by one do two bottom right diagonals so that's one and two and then what you can go ahead and do just go down until it's like a bottom right diagonal there or top right well it'd be bottom left or top right whichever way and then just fill in that little area with red concrete that's going to be one of his cheeks and now we have both cheeks placed okay from there you can raise the black concrete that we like that really long row that i said let's not just count it because we don't really need to raise it up until you get to the same height as the cheek then what you can go ahead and do is from that cheek just raise it that black concrete that we made just raise it and up, up another four black concrete so one two three and four all right after we made this really long row what you can go ahead and do is do an up right diagonal then go up by three so that's one two and three then go right by one and then this row should line up all the way over here to this row three that was confusing don't worry about it if you just did everything i said then you should be okay by five so that's gonna be one two three four and five then do an up left diagonal and go left by one two three four one two three four then do an up left diagonal and then go left by one then do an up left diagonal and go up by one left by one and up by one again then go right by two so that's one and two then do an up right diagonal and go right by three so one two and three so that this should be like one less okay and then do an up right diagonal and for now we'll just leave it at that well actually no what we can go ahead and do is just bring this all the way over here to where like this would line up right here just like that this would be filled in with yellow concrete so you can go ahead and just leave the yellow concrete there but then destroy one of these so to make like this little NT kind of thing I'm sorry if this way I explain it is very confusing I'm sure it is but then do a bottom right diagonal and then do another bottom right diagonal to where that lines up like that so I hope that wasn't confusing at all but like it should line up like that it's hard to explain some of these things it's easier just to like show it but yeah I hope you understood what I just did there to give you something that looks like this for now it, everything worked out so far okay then what you want to do is come up here where this like little row of three is like right here then do an up right diagonal go up by one do an up right diagonal go up by one again then do another up right diagonal and go up by one yet again then do three up right diagonals so that's one two and three on that third up right diagonal go right by one to give you something that looks like this for now okay then what you can go ahead and do like right now we're making the hat shape so let's do that next okay so let's come to this like long row of yellow that we made where you see like these two little um 
uh, like up left diagonals are standing by itself. On the second one, just do an upright diagonal and go right by one. Then do another upright diagonal and just go right of that by a few blocks. So go one, two, three, four, and five. So that it's like in the middle of this one. So they line up like that. Then do a bottom right diagonal and go right by one, two, three, and four. So that it's like about the middle of this one as well. But actually you can go right by three because it's only supposed to be a row of four here. Then do a bottom right diagonal and go right by two. So that's one and two. Then do another bottom right diagonal and go right by two again. So that's one and two. Then do another bottom right diagonal, go right by one. Then do another bottom right diagonal and go right by one. And then do three bottom right diagonals. So that's one, two, and three. Then what you can go ahead and do is this row right here, just raise it up to where it's even right there. And they should connect like that. If you have it connected, then you do it. You've done it right so far. Then go up by one, two, and three so that it's like even with this row two. Then do an up right diagonal. Then what you're gonna do is from that upright diagonal go up by five. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Then do an up left diagonal, go up by one, do another up left diagonal, go up by one, do another up left diagonal, go left by one, and then do two up left diagonals. So that's one and two. On that second up left diagonal, go left by one, then do another up left diagonal and go left by one again then do another up left diagonal and go left by one again that should be a total of three of those little up left diagonals then you're gonna do like what I mean by that is like the, oh the three little up left diagonals with the left by one in a row then you can do another up left diagonal and just connect it all the way to where this block turns into an up right diagonal or a bottom left diagonal whichever way you're looking at it and it should give you a shape like that if you've done everything right you should have this exact shape and that's basically Pikachu's like entire structure done besides like the eyes and the little nose and like the top of Ash's hat but basically the rest is pretty much filling in so what we can go ahead and do is come to the left side of his ear and what we can go ahead and do is coming from this row of what is this five right here do like an up left diagonal and go up by one then do another up left diagonal and go up by one again to give you this kind of shape I'll show you guys right now it's hard to explain it would be easier if I just fill it in but it should look like that that should be like his ear so take a moment if you need to pause it and let's move on okay what we can go ahead and do is let's go to his hat now so what we're gonna do is come to coming to let's see how is this okay so we're, we have these two right here like these two up left diagonal and left one blocks take out your white concrete and place one two right there and then take out your lime concrete and go up like one right there and then do an up left diagonal from that block then what you can go ahead and do is go left by one then do another up left diagonal and go left by two so that's one and two then do another up left diagonal and then from there just go left until you're like halfway through this block like right there so it should be left by three and then do another up left diagonal from this block just like go right until you're even with the previous rows below it and then right here you're just gonna go right by one two it's honestly hard to explain it so I'm just gonna go ahead thinking about it it might be easier if I just go ahead and do the shape and then you guys see it after so it should be so let me just go ahead and do the shape really quick because it's honestly very hard to explain this without getting people confused and I don't want to get anybody confused or confuse myself ah, that, would, that would not be fun so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the shape I'm almost done with it I feel like it would be a lot easier just to go ahead and do it than having to explain it because I don't think I'm very good at explaining things sometimes okay that's the shape right there so I hope you guys don't get that or do get it not don't get it but if in case you don't know this is a row four 
Okay, that will help. And this right here is a row of five. So that, that might make it a little bit easier. Let me fill in this white. So it's going to be one, two. So go ahead and take a moment to pause it right here. I'll go ahead and give you a chance to pause it. I hope it's not too confusing so you guys can figure it out. But yeah, take a moment to pause that if uh, you need to. So the rest of the hat is going to be filled in with white pretty much. Except for the part that we're going to have to fill in red right here. Okay, so where I'm at right here on the end of the hat, like where the to the left of the hat, on this row, on basically the entire outer row, just like right of the black concrete, just fill that like entirely with red up until right there, like exactly. So like just like that. It's hard to explain it. I, I'm pretty sure it's pretty simple to see where I put the red concrete. And then the rest of the hat, you can fill it in with white concrete except for the bottom of the hat like I'll show you guys right now what I'm talking about I could just cut it, but it's too late now. I kind of already finished it. Okay, so, oh, I forgot to do this top little part. Give me one second. Okay, this part right here. So, like, the division between them. This is the part that I was talking about that you can go ahead and just fill it in with red concrete. So, let me go ahead and do that really quick. There's no point in cutting these parts because, honestly, it doesn't take too long to do this. So let me just go ahead and do it. I'm almost done now. Alright. Oh, I forgot this part. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, there you go. So there's Ash Ketchum's hat on top of Pikachu. Okay, what you can go ahead and do is fill in that ear with yellow. Fill in this little ear with yellow. So you guys can go ahead and do that. And you can also... Oh, I forgot. We still have to do the tail part, huh? Ha! <laughs> Honestly, just like, I wasn't even paying attention to it. Okay, right, coming to the left of this cheek, like this little block right here, just go left by one right there. And then what you can go ahead and do is go left by another three, so that's one, two, and three. Then do an up left diagonal, go left by two, so that's one and two. Then do another up left diagonal, and go left by three, so that's one, two, and three. Then do an up left diagonal, and then go left by three, so one, two, and three. Then do another up left diagonal, and go left by four, so one, two, three, and four. Then do another up left diagonal, go left by two, so one and two. Then do a bottom left diagonal. And what you can go ahead and do is from there, just go down by about, mm, I would say four, so one, two, three, and four. Then do a bottom right diagonal and go down by three, so one, two, and three. Then do a bottom right diagonal. And what you can go ahead and do is coming to where we made this up left diagonal, or this up, yeah, up right diagonal, do a up left diagonal. And then from there, what you can go ahead and do is go left all the way until you get to, it's easier to explain it this way. If you see this block right here, it's hard to explain it, but like if you see this block right here, just take it down with the yellow concrete. Yeah, from that block, that's going to be where the new black concrete starts. So I'll count it out. So it's from this block is right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then from this block right here, it's left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to give you something that looks like that and you can go ahead and fill in all of that tail with yellow concrete so you can fill in the tail the ear and the other ear with yellow concrete and then if you want to do that now or you can wait to the end to fill it in I'm gonna wait to the end so next what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna fill in the face part so coming to the cheek part what you can go ahead and do is from this block go up by three so one two and three with your yellow concrete Oh, you coming from this three yellow concrete that we made, what you can go ahead and do is go right of that by three, one, two, three, with your black concrete. Then do an upright diagonal and go up by two, one, two, 
then do an up left diagonal and go left by two so one and two then do a bottom left diagonal and go down by two to make this shape put a white concrete in the corner in the top right corner and then fill it in with black to give you this little eye shape okay the next eye shape let's come to the right side where we all have this really big like line next to the um next to the ear and where we made this T shape from earlier place two yellow concrete to the left so that's one and two and then place two black concrete to the left so that's one and two and then do a bottom left diagonal and go down by two so one and two then do a bottom right diagonal go right by one then do an up right diagonal and go up by two and place a yet white concrete in the corner top right corner and then fit place the red with the rest with black to make like the little uh, right eye coming from the right eye that we just placed take the yellow concrete on the bottom left and just go left to that by three so one and two and three and then do a bottom left diagonal with the black concrete and go left by one to make the nose then from those two black concrete what you can go ahead and do is make a square of yellow concrete below it and then from there place a black concrete on the left side of the square and to that on that black concrete to the left of it place one black concrete then do a bottom left diagonal go left by one then do an up left di or, yeah up left diagonal coming back from that row of two that's connecting to that two by two of the yellow concrete we made do a bottom right diagonal go right by one then do an up right diagonal sorry if that was confusing but that's how it looks like and that should be the little mouth and basically the rest of them you can fill in with yellow the tail the two ears well not basically entirely and the rest of the body so i'll be back when i've completely filled it in with yellow concrete all right guys i am back and i have got the pikachu completely filled in so this is how it looks like when it's all done and uh yeah that's the end of the video so i hope you guys did enjoy this video and i will see you guys in the next video peace if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on post notifications so you can be notified of every single video. Thank you. Peace!